problem number 12, same page, 562. Find sine, cosine, tangent, right? I have a right triangle. It is the same thing like in the previous problem, but let's see what's going on in here. This is triangle X, Y, Z. X, Y, and Z. My 90 degree angle is obviously this one. Then, they're telling me the values of my side, hypotenuse, square root 13, one of the legs, ZY, equals, equals three units, the other leg, two units. And I have to find cosine, sine, tangent for X and Y, right? What is sine of Y equal to? Well, like any other sine in a, in a given right triangle, will be the opposite over hypotenuse. What is the opposite of, of y, right? This is angle y. The opposite leg will be 2 divided by your hypotenuse, which is square root 13. Now, you're not done because you cannot leave square root 13 as a denominator, right? So, I will multiply top and bottom by what? By what? Square root 13. And this gives me top 2 square root 13 over what is square root 13 squared? Square root 13 squared will be what? 13. All right? And this is your yeah, okay. sine of y. Okay. Absolutely. Cosine y equals the adjacent, right, over yeah. hypotenuse. Your adjacent in this case is what? 3 over square root 13. Same story. I cannot have... Uh, radical at the bottom here as my denominator, so I'll multiply by square root 13 top and bottom, and this will equal 3 square root 13 over 13. That's your cosine y. Tangent y, thank you, I know. <laughs> Tangent, <laughs> my dreams, right? Tangent y equals uh, the opposite over adjacent. Also, you know, you will realize, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this, tangent of y is also sine y over cosine y. Okay, write this down too. Always. Because if you divide sine y by cosine y, you will get the opposite over the adjacent. So if you know sine and cosine, you can find tangent just by finding the ratio. In this case, knowing all the sides, I can tell you that is what? The opposite is what? 2 and the adjacent is 3. So, my tangent for y of y is 2 thirds. Okay. Next one, you have to find the cosine and sine of x. Same approach, right? Sine x equals the opposite of x, which is 3, divided by hypotenuse, which is square root 13. By the same rule, you multiply by square root 13, top and bottom, and you find that sine of x is 3 square root 13 over 13. Well, I need a different color here for uh, an obvious reason in a second, right? Cosine x equals the opposite of x, I mean, uh, the, uh, the adjacent of x, right, over hypotenuse, which will be 2 square root 13. And by the same, you know, uh, procedure as last year, James, we have, what, well, multiply top and bottom by square root 13? How was that, right? <laughs> Remember dinner for one? Oh same yeah. procedure? Same That's procedure as every year, James. <laughs> 2 square root 13 <laughs> over 13. Same procedure as every year. I'll do my best. Okay, tangent, the last one for this problem. Tangent x, by the same procedure as every year, is what? The opposite over the adjacent. Zach, you too. Opposite? Oh, well, hold on. Opposite of angle x is 3, right? 3 over adjacent 2. And this is it. 
So what color have we used for that? Tangent. I'm going to use a different one. Now, one point for which I used green on the sine of y and green on the cosine of x, as you guys can see, they have the same value. All right? And this is always the same for the right triangle. The sine of one angle will be equal to the cosine of the other one. Tangent will uh, be uh, the reciprocal of the other tangent. And that's about it. That's how you solve this problem.